for those of you who've not seen who don't know what is going on this man I was going to say, the different uh, Mr. Kwame Ampofu. So, what is Mr. Kwame Ampofu saying? Lighthouse, extra letters, baby. Letters are much more in the Beatrice screen. So, a reading and subsequent update. As you can see, P. A moon, a moon, some no air back. All that the church is saying is a man, a car, car now, a quadrino, a car, a dear man, as a gift again. A bro, a pastor. I was also a bro. Also, on your pastor, since the same can man as a gift on lighthouse, a GA car. Papa can send my fire one year in GT, a GA car, and you did a hot court. I catch a gunner, please, for some on bed GA car, my because I saw from my farm. So that is what is really going on at church. But we need to get this whole issue from the horses' home. Papa Nakasa, in seven or two, and go see some of the two day by the trust. Oh, praise the Lord. Hello, everybody. Um, I just came out of the police headquarters. I was invited to the CID headquarters. Today, I've been accused of stealing this car that I'm in. I've been driving around everywhere. A letter has gone from Kofi Ohina Sari. Um, they say it's a bishop of Lighthouse Chapel and they claim they I was in their employment and the car they gave me for my official duties when I left the employment, I, I just took it away. And they've tried on many occasions peacefully to ask me to bring the car back and I refused. And they've done a petition to the Director General of the CID, can you imagine? And in their petition, which they could not officially give me a copy, but they made me look at it before they took my statement. They did not make mention of the meeting at the Kodesh on Thursday, December, is it Wednesday, December 14th, or Thursday, December 15th, one of them. I think it was Thursday, December 15th. There was a meeting at the Kodesh. This petition did not say anything about that meeting. At that meeting, present at that meeting were eight solid men of God. Men of God, I believe, who are supposed to be men of truth. Ishmael Sam, Emmanuel Luis in Tefo, Masal Abwaji, Kakrabaden, Ni Ajedu Amar, Prince Adai, who have I left out? Yes, my own Steve Asari, and uh, last but not the least, Prophet Kakra Baden. Um, I don't know if I mentioned him already. Then Archbishop, my brother Archbishop Kwesi Ampofu. Now, this meeting was supposed to oversee my separation from Lighthouse. And I asked that they recuse the Archbishop because even when you go to court and the case comes and the judge is related to the one of the complainants, he recuses, he's recused. That's why that word is the recuse. If they need an archbishop, there are two archbishops. There's Archbishop Patrick Bruce, who could have come to sit on this case, but I don't know. They, they made my brother sit on it and I protested throughout as he was reading. I protested, you don't have to do this. And Prince Adai cut in, should he not do his work? I said, he's dealing with his own brother. You got to recuse him. But I don't know, he trusts he trust them. I don't trust anybody in Lighthouse, especially their leadership. I don't trust them. So he continued and he read. And I remember because they didn't give me a copy and that's why I've mentioned their names. They are key witnesses in this case. Because Kofi Ohinia Sari is claiming that I stole the car. He did not mention even once that the car was given to me as a gift. You know? So, the only witnesses who actually admit that this car was given as a gift at least are these eight people who were there. On that day, I took a witness along, my own son. But I was told that they won't let him be in. Because I could see a day like this will come when I need a witness. And these guys won't give you a copy of your document. You are all aware. I mean, pastors and bishops of Lighthouse, you've all signed various forms and all those things under false 
nobody has been given a copy. You don't have a copy, but you sign them. They're binding you. You can't do things. So now, when he was reading, he came to my package. And the package was in two parts. Lighthouse Chapel International, because they were paying my salary, were giving me two years' salary as I'm going. I'm grateful. I've spent almost all. I'm grateful. It's it, it helped. Then, Healing Jesus campaign. You know, and Lighthouse, I've worked with Lighthouse since 2018. But Healing Jesus, I've worked with since 2006. So they also graciously gave me a cash package. And they said they're giving to me as a gift my official vehicle, this beautiful Chevrolet Tahoe that I'm in. They said they give it to me as a gift. So after this, I sent a message. I thanked Prophet Daggerward Mills. He responded. I sent it by WhatsApp. He responded. And then things started going downhill. Why downhill? Because I still protest on my innocence. I am, I'm, I'm, I don't have to be dismissed. The word dismissed should not even be used on me. And if you ask me what I'm looking for, that's all I'm looking for. In the case of Kapos, we goofed. You can suspend me, yes, for being rude to Steve Asari. I had to. I had to. You, you, he cannot continue talking down on people like that. And he lied. And we won't go to the merits of this now. But Arthur Dixon, you know, as we're getting myself tickets, the same problem they had with me, Steve Asari getting my ticket. And you all call Bishop Prince. Bishop Prince broke something with you, but Steve Asari will not budge. And he dares to come in the night and talk down on me. How dare him? If I had not said what I said to him, I would not have been happy. And then moreover, I was told that I was supposed to get all my entitlements. No entitlements, but my, my pay and whatever is in addition. We know in December, we know what comes in, 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 in addition. We know about the 13th and 14th month. I won't go into that. So I pestered Sivasari for that. And I also kept calling him a liar because he lied against me. I, I don't even see that as an insult. That's what he is. When he, when I, I think of lies, I think of uh, Stivasari, you know? I I, and I, I think of Kofi Ohinyansari. When I, when I think of lies, I think of Kofi Ohinyansari. You, Kofi Ohinyansari, you've been a bishop for how long? Not even a year. Yet you come and stand in front of a gathering like that in Maldives and say, me, Kapos, I cause confusion every time I meet him. How dare you? Now you take a letter to Director General of CID and you go and lie to them. Have you guys forgotten about Oko Mensa? Don't you get embarrassed a bit? Yet, don't you have a little feeling? Don't you just get embarrassed? So fine, no problem. We are, we are there writing my statements on Wednesday we all meet, you know, and the funny thing is that you guys, anyway, I, I'm not going to say that one, but you know that it's a gift. If any of these eight bishops I've mentioned say that this car was not given to me as a gift, then they are not men of God. It was given as a gift. And now you say you are taking a gift away. Fine, that's different. But don't say it's not a gift. Say you gave a gift and you are taking it away. Now, can I also come back for all my gifts from you? My tithes are gifts. My offerings are gifts over 27 years. Who do you see asking for gifts back? Are you guys that mean? Are you all not supposed to be family? Anyway, next week, Wednesday, we'll see. And you'll all be updated. But brothers and sisters who can't find the courage to leave, my message of love is simple, eh? You do not have to endure all forms of emotional and psychological abuse. If you want to leave, just be strong and leave. All the things that we have been indoctrinated against leaving, it's not true. Especially the things in the book, those who leave you, they are not true. Especially chapter 8. And nothing will ever happen to you. Actually, the only thing which will happen to you are only good things. First thing you will notice is the freedom when you come out. You will never notice what has been taken from you till God gives it back again to you. Yesterday, someone who is still inside the temple 
send me the whatsapp messages from the bishops to the pastors to make sure everyone circulate videos of men of god speaking highly of dagon the one included that made me laugh in that video is the alpha hour guy you now your meeting your meeting prevents people from partaking in flow prayers and you will not show where you are i'll come back to these crusade things later the crusade crowds and how those who make those crowds are treated by the evangelists when you leave you do not have to fight any foolish battles for a man of god who has decided to degrade himself in public by leveling false accusations against one of his topmost multi-purpose commandos yes that's what he used to call us he said we are his multi-purpose commandos we can execute anything he wants that's why he took me from the crusades and took me to the bible school and i did an excellent job in the bible school yeah we gave our very lives you know for 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 the course of daguan mills he just always used to fly in and receive all the glory and fly out anyways my brother my sister just say enough is enough don't go for any meeting you don't owe it to them let them call for a meeting don't come just leave do not allow your spouse and children to manipulate this all important decision after all if you bow to your demands and remain you will still not be happy live and enjoy freedom instead of wearing this heavy shackle and have so-called peace at home you must fight for peace later on they will thank you if you are serving full-time missionaries etc bishops bishops that they are they are on you and you can't sleep tomorrow is sunday all you'll be thinking about is, is income and funds oh please just write a simple letter i resign with immediate effect you don't need to explain anything they don't need your letters anyway just leave if they come to beg like how dagon came to my house on the night of thursday november 22nd unannounced tell them to come at a better time if your spouse stops you from driving them away and bring them in it's your moment just take your time and look them in the eye and carefully offload it helps the healing process totally brings you some inner peace that you can't get from anywhere and when you feel you have had enough you can please show them the door you don't you do not need to find a church before you make that move it's even better to step back wait on god to see where you head in this church move all together you can you can be home for a couple of months to clear your head first i'm trying to grow this support group stronger together i want to include christian suffering in various temples around for example one well-known board member has been beating his pastors can you imagine he's been lashing them he's been killing them he's been beating them and when you come for meeting late he will make sure that you kneel down all this is happening today in charismatic churches how can you do that stop that now you, you know who you are and i'm talking to you stop that now it's not good it's not good at all and those of you who are enduring such abuse why are you there you are afraid he'll curse you just leave just leave he can't do anything to you now for those who have signed the dagon forms worldwide i want you to know that you know that form that he referred to when he was bullying that small boy he said that you he sure is the type who refused to write form by an orangu even those who are not orangus at that time i wasn't an orangu i signed it but what i said at the back of my mind is that i'm signing this under duress so it's a useless form you don't have to be afraid of that form at all just leave you just leave i mean it, it will not it will not disturb you in any way hmm? <laughs> um he made us to sign all these things meanwhile we gave up our rights to have any legal action but here we find this man thinking that the police headquarters belongs to him the ghana police service is very professional and under the current igp dr dampari they have moved the notch several they've moved it up several notches higher i want to use this moment to appeal to the igp to look at the petition by lighthouse chapel to the director general of the cid accusing me of stealing a car they know they have given to me i know it is an offense to attempt to weaponize the police by deliberately withholding information in your petition kofi Hinyasari, are you there since your signature is on this petition unless you testify against Tivasari and that you are males 
you'll be going in alone and your medical license will be revoked forever. Now, I want to thank all the bloggers who have taken the issue up themselves and want to make some few clar clarifications for them. My name is Kwame Yurenchi Ampofu, a civil engineer and no more a pastor. The car in question was my official vehicle for my duties. It wasn't given to me as a gift in 2016, no. Dagi most gave it to me when I was with Healing Jesus Campaign and I was seconded to Anakazo Bible School as the provost of that school. So from 2016 right down to December 2022, I've been using that vehicle as my official vehicle for both Healing Jesus and Lighthouse. Lighthouse, I came there in 2018, so they cannot say that they gave me the car. Unless they want to say that Lighthouse and Healing Jesus and Master Seed and all the various um, denominations are one. And they themselves know that that's the subject of a lawsuit, ongoing lawsuit right now. Yeah. Now, December, 15 December 2022, I was wrongfully dismissed. Take note. All the meetings they said they had before them, it's not true. There was no such meeting. We were in Maldives when they hurriedly dismissed me without me defending myself. And strangely, just think about it. Who gives a gift to somebody that they've dismissed? But you claim that I've done wrong, I deserve to be dismissed, and yet you gave me a huge sum of money and you gave me this car. My own brother, Archbishop Kwesi Ampofu, read out everything. And I accepted the gift, but I insisted on my innocence. Because of that, they decided to watch and see what I'll do. He tried to get the papers from Prince Adai, but Prince Adai lied to him that he could not find the papers. Because Dagi would not have stepped on his leg that, mm, this guy, I'm sure is up to something. Well, so three weeks after, when they realized that I was intensifying pressure on Steve Asari, calling him a liar for going to lie against me for me to be dismissed, they said I should bring the car back. Have you heard some before? You know? So now they claim they gave me the money and car to show how kind they are to me. Someone they have dismissed. Who gives someone he dismisses all that? Shallow thinkers will say they are good people. Well, my wife, who is a medical doctor and has a master's in public health, has also worked with them since 2004, for 18 years. I insisted she left the church. Doug asked her to resign, which she dutifully did, obediently, and respectfully packed her official vehicle. The kind man that you are Mills said bye, and that was all. They didn't even give her one month salary. That when you are going, use it to take her. And of course, she doesn't need it. She believes in her God. And as we speak, she's gainfully employed. She has her own car and is moving on now. That's also another way to go about it. But I'm just bringing this in for you to know that that money and the car was not given to me as a gift out of their benevolence. Because they should have done better then for my wife, who was more obedient and more faithful to them. And had worked longer and had been used heavily by them you know so that that this does not hold water now the letter of july 4th is very economical with the truth and at the right forum all that will be addressed at least the letter admits that i have not stolen my car from them and the police commander rightfully asked me to still keep it when the question of impounding came up I'm looking forward to the conclusion of this investigation this week. And Kofi Hinyansari, please get ready. Your loyalty is about to be tested. Will you implicate Steve Asari and Dagon? Or you face the music alone? I'll be happy to provide the music.